So, you have decided to take the IELTS exam. Great choice. It is the test that opens doors around the world. Here we look at a line graph. This is one of task 1 types, which will come in the real exam. Look for the other types in my videos. Any of them, would come in your exam, with the same possibility. It means, you should be familiar with all of them to get a high score. This is, a sample of writing task 1 question. What the given question card says. The graph below shows, the number of books, read by men and women, at Burnaby Public Library from 2011 to 2014. If you have a line graph, with different times, on its horizontal axis, use trend language in your writing. The data on the graph is not static. It changes over the time period. Now, let's get started to respond the task. The first paragraph you will write, is an introduction. For the introduction, you need simply to paraphrase the information from your topic. And, here is how I wrote it. The line graph presents, the read book numbers, by gender, at Burnaby Public Library between 2011 and 2014. As you can see, I added the specific name of, the graph, line graph. Next, I used, presents, instead of shows. To describe the number of books, read by men and women. I gave the phrase, the read book numbers, by gender. Here, the word, read, is used, as an adjective, not as a verb. And finally, I changed the phrase from 2011 to 2014. Inter, between 2011, and, 2014. In the introduction paragraph, we are, expected, not only to use, synonym words, but also to show different, word forms, or phrases, as well as, different sentence structures. Next part of, our writing, task, is to write down the overview. You can place your overview, at the end of your writing, but also, you can put it, just after your introduction. So, what should you write, in your overview? You can start your sentence, with the word, overall, and write down a general trend of the graph. Now, try to find, what is the general trend, for the number of books, read by women, over the given time period. Is, it an upward, or downward, trend? Find it. I'll give you a couple of seconds. So, for those of you, who were able to do it, congratulations. And for those of you, who just want to learn, keep watching. It is, an upward trend. In order to find it, we draw a line, from the beginning point. To the end. If the, drawn, arrow line, is, up. The general trend, is upward. That's why, the number for women, increased. Even though, there was a decline, in this number, in the last year. It is true, for the number of books, read by men. We can check it, by drawing, a line again. So, in general, the numbers, for both males and females, rose over the time period. Now, let's have a look at the overview paragraph. Overall, this library registered an upward trend, in the reading activities of, its members, over that, period. Although female readers read fewer books, in the last year, compared to the, previous years. Here, I showed up my vocabulary, on the topic, library. Registered. Reading activities. Members. Readers. Read. Books. All these words are, related to the word, library. In the public version of writing task 1, band descriptors, it is written that, candidates, who use a wide range of vocabulary fluently, and flexibly, to convey precise meanings, get 8 band for their lexical resources. This is, one of four criteria, on which, your writing task will be evaluated. After finishing the first two paragraphs, introduction and overview, it comes, to main paragraphs, 3, and 4. In which, we include the detailed data, numbers, or percentages. It is better to group data with similar features or trends. So it is, easier for an examiner to follow. In this case, I group the data by gender. What I mean is that, I described, first females numbers, and then males numbers, in last paragraph. I follow the rule, ladies, first. Then, gentlemen. Actually, you can choose, first, gentlemen, and then, ladies. It's up to you, how to, order. But, remember, you should describe the data, by gender in separate paragraphs. Otherwise, you may confuse yourself, as well as the examiner, who will read your writing. The number of books, read by females, doubled, in the first two years. It was about, 5,000, in 2011. During the next year, women read, 8,000 books, which were, twice more, than, that read by their counterparts, in the same year. 
then, it continued to grow, until reaching a peak, of 10,000 by 2013. Here, I made, some comparisons, in the second, and third paragraphs. In overview paragraph, the last year, compared to, the previous years. And, in the third paragraph, the number of books, read by males, and females, compared to, each other. Now, let's read the instruction, on the question card. It is written that, make comparisons, where relevant. Now, move on to the last paragraph. Meanwhile, the figure for men, increased, throughout the period. It started at, a low of, nearly 3,000 books. There was, a sharp rise, before it, outnumbered, the figure, for women, in 2013. This number reached, a high of, 14,000, at the end of the period. As you see, I described, some extreme, points, with the same phrase, in the last paragraph. For example, a peak of, a low of, a high of, these phrases are, useful to show, the key features in the graph. I have written, 151 words. It is, within the required word length. So, you also, should write, no more words, than that. Because, extra words, are not counted, as an extra band. Now, you give me a band score, for my writing.